Good morning guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I don't know what time you're watching this, but today's a beautiful day guys. The sun is out, you know, the sun is out, the weather is good, God is good also. So yeah, it's just a beautiful day. So our topic of discussion today says that um, why many are called but few are chosen, right? And that is what we're going to be talking about today. Why many are called, but few are chosen, right? Now you might be thinking to yourself, or I was thinking to myself rather, let me not try and project things unto you. But as I thought about this topic, I thought to myself, okay, let us refer actually back to the time that um, the children of Israel left Egypt, right? And I thought to myself, okay, when they left Egypt, okay, let me just give you a brief summary of what was going on. So, when they left Egypt, right, um, one interesting thing that happened is that they called unto God because of their affliction. They didn't call to God and ask God to say, you know what, God, take us to Canaan, right? They didn't call to God and tell God that. They didn't call to God and start saying, God, take us there, take us to a nicer place. But because of the affliction that was upon them, they then decided to call upon the Lord, right? And then God rescued them. And then God took them through, you know, what happened. And they went through the wilderness. And all of those things happened, right? Um, and that was their journey until they got to Canaan. But a point I just want us to keep in mind, guys, is that many were called. If you look at the Bible and you read the Bible and you try to understand how many people left Egypt and how many people actually made it to Canaan, you realize that the numbers don't balance. The numbers don't balance, guys, right? The numbers don't balance at all when you look at that, uh, those numbers. This is where our topic then comes in today. We say that many are called, but few are chosen, right? So many people left Egypt. But only a select number of people made it to Canaan. And our message for today, um, I, wanted, I wanted to bring it back to us in our daily lives. That many of us have been called by God. All right? I don't know in what um, field you have been called by God. Right? I don't know what field God has called you in. But all of us have been called by God. But few, but few are chosen, right? Um, yes, few are chosen because along the way, if you look at the children of Israel, as they were traveling, right, many died in the wilderness and some were even left. And it was not an easy journey, guys. It was not an easy journey. Just imagine you are, you are living as a massive group, right? You are living as a massive group and you're probably living with your friends. You are living with your relatives. You are living there with your cousins. You are living there with everyone that you possibly know. But most of them, they start dying in the wilderness. But you're supposed to keep the promise that God promised us that we're actually going to Canaan, right? And this is what you're supposed to keep in your mind and remind yourself that actually God said, we are going to Canaan. So I have to keep this in mind. Just imagine how difficult it was for some people. And some people obviously would lose hope and think to themselves, um, I don't think this Canaan is actually real, right? I don't think we are actually going to any Canaan. I think that, that God just wants us to die in the wilderness because they're looking at things that are happening around. They're losing their friends. They're losing their neighbors. They're losing the very same people that they left um, Egypt with, right? So, this is a message that I just want to bring to you today. That many will be called, right? God calls everyone. Um, yes, many are called by God. But few are going to make it. And that's, those, those are, those, that's just the reality of it, guys. And not because God is a cruel God. That doesn't happen because God is a cruel God. No, it doesn't happen because of that. But it happens because of our own choices sometimes. You know, our own choices. We then decide along the way that, you know what? Mm, I don't want to get rid of this reality that I am in right now. 
and god wants to take you from one place to another but sometimes we find ourselves holding on to things that god wants to want us to get rid of we find ourselves holding on to things and we're asking god ah but god you know this this is my reality i don't want to let go of this but you're stuck in egypt right and god wants to remove you from egypt and god wants to take you to canaan but sometimes we find ourselves arguing with god and telling god no 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 I want to remain with this reality. Can I not bring Egypt to Canaan? And we realize that no, guys. They had to leave their houses. They had to leave their places where they stayed, right? And they had to leave all these other things behind for them to be able to make it to Canaan. God is not going to bring Canaan to Egypt. No, you have to go to Canaan, right? It does not happen that way, guys. God has to get rid of a certain reality that you will build heaven at the moment so that the better things can come along the way some people even started to say you know what you wanted us to die in the wilderness why did you not leave us to actually be in egypt why did you not leave us to eat garlic and all of those things right and sometimes this happens in our lives when god has called us and god starts to take you through the wilderness sometimes we then start to say but god why why is this happening to me why why am i losing my friends why am i losing this and this and that i thought you said if i come to you this and this will happen why am i losing all these kind of things in my life right and we start to question god and we start to ask him all these other kind of questions but remember guys for god to take you to canaan the reality of egypt has to be taken away right this is just a point i want you to keep in mind God is not going to bring Canaan to Egypt. It's not going to happen. God is not going to do that. But rather, God is actually going to take you and take you to Canaan. All right? So that's just a message I wanted you to keep in mind today, guys. That as you go on about your life, just keep those things in mind, guys. God is not going to fail you. As you go through your life, I can I can tell you this, guys, with, with so much confidence. I can... Guys, God is never going to fail you in anything that you do. He is never, ever, ever, ever going to fail you. It's not possible. He's not a God that fails people, guys. He's not a God that fails people. Even if you look, um, even if you go back in the Bible, the Bible says um, the grass withers, right? The grass withers and the flowers fall. And I think we find this in um, in Numbers. I'm not quite sure. Um, is it Numbers? I'm not quite sure. Or Isaiah, one of the two. But I'll leave the, the verse right here on the screen. Where it says that the grass withers and... Also, when the grass withers, it says the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord endures forever. This is what the Bible says, guys. It says the word of the Lord endures forever. All these other things can fall. Um, the grass can fall, the grass can wither, the flowers can fall, and everything else. But it says that the word of the Lord stands forever. So God then says, I am not a man. <sighs> Guys, God then says, I am, and now this is in Numbers 23 verse 19, where God says, I am not a man that I should lie. Come on, guys. God says, I am not a man that I should lie, neither a son of man that I should repent on my word and this is a message i just want you to keep in mind guys that in everything that you do right as you go on about your life keep this keep this principle in your mind that god is never going to fail you in anything that you do god is never going to fail you no matter what god is never going to fail you and is always going to be there for you on your side and is always going to come through for you and remember don't give up along the way and start to ask god you know what take me back to canaan and all of that no guys that's not how it's supposed to be no no no, no. don't start asking god to take you back to to canaan because you're starting to lose certain things in your life remember god will not take you to a place where he has never been to right so as he's taking you to canaan he already knows what's along the way right even the children of israel when they were coming into the desert and there were meeting points where there was no water god already knew that these people are going to come to a point where there is no water but i am going to provide for them if they ask right 
and this is the same thing i just want you to keep in mind as you get along certain points in your life you miss certain points right but ask god to provide for you for he already knows where you are going god will not take you to a place where he has never been to so yeah that's just the message for today guys um just keep that in mind as you go on about your life that god when he calls you guys don't give up along the way right don't give up along the way he is never going to fail you i can tell you this with 100 percent confidence 110 120 whatever god is never going to fail you i can guarantee you that if god ever fails and i'm not talking about any other god because these days there's so many gods you don't know uh, people these days they just go and say uh thank god for this i think but you don't know which god they're referring to but i'm referring to the god that created the heaven and the earth the one and true living god right he will never ever 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 fail you if god ever fails you right unsubscribe and follow um report my channel because actually i'm speaking false right but god is never going to fail you guys it is not possible and it's never going to happen so trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and that is the message for us our our ourselves today guys just keep that in mind as you go on about your life so with that said have a good day